Hi teachers! This is Dexter Yudi Guzman and I'm going to show you how to set up an electronic library in your school that runs offline using the Kivix application. So, without further ado, let's start! Okay guys, so before we start this tutorial, um, disclaimer lamang po, ang mga steps and informations na gagamitin ko dito sa video tutorial na ito ay galing doon sa aming training sa OER headed by Sir Mark Anthony C. So with that, here are the objectives. First is we need to establish an offline library with Kiwix. So, we are going to use this Kiwix application to have an offline library na pwedeng i-access ng ating mga mag-aaral. Second is to navigate Kiwix interface with ease. Pag-aaralan natin o ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano natin gagamitin yung Kiwix na hindi tayo nahihirapan. Number three, manipulate and familiarize with the basic local networking concepts. So, mamaya, meron tayong mga gagawin that includes networking para ma-access yung ating offline library, which is yung Kivix. Pero ano nga ba yung Kivix? It is a free and open source offline web browser created by Emmanuel Inglehart and Raynon Godin in 2007. It was first launched to allow offline access to Wikipedia but has since expanded to include other projects from the Wikimedia Foundation as well as public domain text from Project Gutenberg. Available in more than 100 languages, it has been included in several high-profile projects from smuggling operations in North Korea and encyclopedic access in Cuba to Google Impact Challenges, recipient Bibliothics Sans Frontiers. This information is from wikipedia.org. This offline e-library na gagawin natin ay pwedeng i-access ng ating mga estudyante gamit ang kanilang mga smartphones, tablets, computers, or laptops even when they are offline. So, ganyan kaganda yung ating Kiwix kasi hindi na siya nangangailangan ng internet connection para ma-access yung mga laman niya. Now that we know what Kiwix is, we will now go to downloading and installing this application. So, in order for us, para ma-download ito, just open the browser that you are using in your computer and this time you should be connected to the internet. You can go to www.kiwix.org and then, lalabas na ang website na ito. This is the official website of Kiwix. You just need to go here in this download part ng website and then click on download Kiwix. Once you click on that, lalabas na yung mga available devices with operating system kung saan kayo mamimili. Depende sa device na gamit nyo. For example, ako, ang gamit ko ay isang device na gumagamit ng OS na Windows. So, I will just click on this icon to download the compatible installer or compatible application for my device. So, kiklik ko lang siya. Ayan. And then, download na po ang ating zip file kung nasaan ang ating installer. Now that I have downloaded the zip file of Kiwix, Nandito siya ngayon. Ang kailangan natin gawin since zip file nga siya is to extract what's inside. So, ikiklik lang po natin yung ating na-download na zip file. Right-click and then extract all. 
So, lalabas yung dialog box kung saan mamimili kayo ng location kung saan niya isi-save o dadalhin yung mga laman ng zip file. So, ang napili kong location kung saan isi-save yung nilalaman ng zip file is on the same folder kung saan ko nilagay yung na-download na zip file. Kaya, hindi ko na i-click yung browse pero kung meron kayong preferred um, location kung saan ninyo isi-save yung nilalaman nito, pwede nyo i-click yung browse. But for me, doon na lang sa same folder kung sa nasaan yung zip file. So, hindi ko nagagalawin yung sa browse. And then, I will just click on extract. Ayan. While extracting, hindi naman ganun kabigat ang application na ito for now since this is just the installer. So, I also would like to suggest na if you are going to use this sa school, for example, you have your library and then meron kayong available computers na hindi na ginagamit pero meron siyang memory or meron siyang hard drive na um, malaki, malaki laki yung storage, pwedeng doon natin install at doon na lang i-access ng mga bata. Okay, at mamaya syempre tuturuan ko kayo kung paano i-access ng mga bata yung ating Kiwix. Para kahit hindi na sila pumasok sa library, if they cannot be accommodated by the library, for example, pwede pa rin silang maka-access ng Kiwix. Ayan, na-extract na natin yung laman ng zip file. So, meron tayong dalawang folder, the install, the Kiwix folder, and the Kiwix application. Now, we will go with the installation. So, you open lang natin yung folder. And then, look at the Kiwix application. Yun yung my logo ng Kiwix. And then, i-right-click natin yun. Uh, i-click natin yun. And then, right-click. Then, run as administrator. Just like the same old story sa pag-install natin ng application, you will be asked by user account control if you want to allow this app for, from an unknown publisher to make changes to your PC. And then you just have to click yes. After you click yes, mag-launch na ang ating Kiwix application. And then, meron ding dialog box na pwedeng mag-appear. Gaya nito, do you want to download the remote catalogs? of available books, you just simply click no. Ayan. So, okay na ba yung ating Kiwix? Pwede na ba itong magbigay ng mga free resources offline sa ating mga estudyante? Uh, meron pa tayong kailangan gawin. Ano yun? So, ang gagawin natin, lalagyan natin siya ng um, nilalaman. So, i-maximize ko ito. So, saan naman manggagaling yung ating mga content? kumbaga, para sa ating Kiwix application. Marami tayong free downloadable content in a form of a zim file. So, open natin ang browser and you can just go to um, https colon slash slash wiki dot kiwix dot org slash wiki slash content you can pause the video para masundan ninyo yung um, site and then ito yung makikita nyo sa first part so ito yung mga nilalaman niya yan yung mga kailangan nating i-download pero mamimili lang tayo halimbawa um, doon tayo sa basic mag-download tayo ng dictionary for example so, meron kasing dictionary ang Kiwix. We call it Wiktionary. Alright. So, ito. Meron tayong Wiktionary. Kailangan lang natin for this part nung maliit para makapag-proceed tayo sa next step. So, paano yun? Meron tayo ditong Wiktionary in English. 17 megabytes. So, I will just simply click download sa tapat nito. And then, ayan. Nada-download na siya. You can also download other Zim file from this site na magagamit natin as the content of our Kiwix application. Okay, so pagkatapos si download yung mga Zim files na gagawin natin content para sa ating Kiwix application, kapaano naman natin i-load yung content or yung Zim file na yun sa loob ng ating Kiwix application? 
ganito po yun. Bumalik tayo doon sa Kiwix application natin na nag-launch kanina right after we click yes. And then, let's try first to be familiar with the interface ng ating application. So, of course, nandyan sa taas ang ating file, edit, display, tools, and help. Nandyan din ang ating browse library kung saan piti, pwede tayong mamili kung aling content ang ating gagamitin para makapag-search tayo ng information. So, paano naman ngayon natin ilo-load yung ating content? So, i-click lang natin yung file, then open file. Once we click open file, pumunta tayo dun sa folder kung nasaan yung zip file na dinownload natin kanina. So, syempre yung sa akin nasa download. Ayan, available na ang Wiktionary. So, kailangan ko lang siyang i-click and then open. Ayan. After ma-open ang ating Wiktionary, this file does not include a search index. Create one may take several minutes. Do you want to index the zip file now? We click no. Or before that, we click do not ask anymore because sa tuwing lalabas ang dialog box na ito, we need to click no. Paano naman magsa-search? Doon sa taas, type the text to search here. Pwede tayong maglagay ng mga words na gusto natin malaman ang meaning since we are using dictionary. For example, education. Ayan. There you go. Meron na tayong meaning ng education. So, nandiyan na yung meaning ng word na ating hinahanap kanina. Ngayon, we can use back or forward button kasi nga meron na tayong na-search or meron ng next um, page ang ating Kiwix. To check if na-load ba talaga natin yung Wiktionary, i-click nyo lang po yung browse library. Ayan, then i-click natin yung my library. Ayan, makikita nyo nandyan na po yung ating Wiktionary. The same process po yung gagawin natin kapag gusto natin ilagay yung ibang zip file or content ng ating Kiwix application. Halimbawa, yung Wikivoyage or mismong Wikipedia or other content. Pwede na po natin silang ilagay dito. So, that's it for loading content inside our Kiwix. At this moment guys, meron ang content ng ating Kiwix. Ngayon, paano naman siya i-access ng ating mga estudyante? Gamit ang aking cellphone, I will try to connect or to access the content of our Kiwix application. Pero bago yun, ito yung process na kailangan natin gawin with our Kiwix. Pupunta ngayon tayo dito sa ating Kiwix. And then... Iki-click natin yung tools sa taas. Nasa taas po yung tools, katabi ng display at help. Pag na-click natin yung tools, iki-click natin ngayon ang server. Ayan. So kung mapapansin niyo, meron tayong server. IP port to listen is 8000. Server is not running. So wala pa pong ma-access dito sa ating Kiwix kasi hindi pa po nag-run yung server. Para ma-access ng ating mga estudyante o ng ibang device, yung ating Kiwix o yung content ng ating Kiwix, kailangan connected yung ating computer kung saan nag-run yung Kiwix at yung mga device na ko-connect para mag access dito sa parehong network. At this moment, yung aking laptop ay connected sa network na Doven 12. Ah, ipapakita ko rin ang aking device na ay connected din sa Doven 12 na network. So, meron kaming common network. So, this time, pwede ko nang i-access yung Kiwix kapag nag-start na yung server. Paano naman i-access yung Kiwix? Gaya ng sinabi ko kanina, pumunta sa i-click ang tools, i-click ang server, at pwede na nating i-click ang start. Pag na-click na ang start, mag ang ating firewall kung 
i-allow ba natin? You just click allow. Again, kapag nag-start na ang ating server, mag magiging available na ang ating server at pwede na nating i-access ang nilalaman ng ating Kiwix. So, papaano yon? Sa ating cellphone, pumunta lamang sa isang browser na naka-install dito. Sa akin, meron ako Google Chrome. So, yun yung aking pupuntahan. At sa address ng aking Google Chrome, itatype ko yung server natin ng Kiwix. So, ang nakalagay doon na HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.1.98 colon 8000 slash then I will just simply click go. Ayan. Kung makikita natin sa screen ng ating phone ay available na yung dictionary which is the content of our Kiwi. So, pwede ko na siyang i-load. pag ko sa load, ayan, available na po siya. And meron na rin nakalagay na search dito sa itaas. Halimbawa kanina, di ba? Sinerge ko yung education. Ayan. So, meron silang parehong nilalaman. So, ganyan lang ang pag-access sa ating Kiwix. Once we click stop, magsa-stop na rin yung pag-access dito. So, sa cellphone naman, pagkatapos i-click yung stop, halimbawa, magsa-search ulit ako, Philosophy. Search. Ayan, kung napapansin natin sa device, parang hindi na siya gumagalaw, hindi na siya nagulit. Kasi yung stop na natin yung pag-access sa ating Kiwix. So, that is the process on how to let the students access the content of our Kiwix. And also the process kung paano gamitin ang ibang device para ma-access yung nilalaman ng ating Kiwix application. There you have it guys! The Kiwix application. I hope na makatulong ito sa ating mga schools, especially doon sa mga schools na mayroong mahina o wala talagang internet connection para magkaroon sila ng electronic library. Maraming salamat sa inyong pananood.